Richard Armitage. These are the people that we're making the film for, and I'm really happy that it was received in such a great way. This is Dory coming live from the set of The Hobbit. Stay classy, San Diego. Hi, Comic Con. John Callan here. I play Oin in The Hobbit. Hi, this is Dwalin saying a big hi to all of you in Comic Con. Greetings from the very heart of Middle Earth. A really amazing moment for me, I guess. It was the first time we stepped onto Bag End. It's become so embedded in your psyche from what you've seen before. We're all ready to go, and Ian came on for the first time, and you look at him and you go, oh my God, you, that's Gandalf. I look back on that with fondness because we got to know each other on Bear Game, and we really got to know each other as dwarves. <laughs> Hi, Comic-Con, it's Adam Brown here, AKA Ori from The Hobbit set. One of the most exciting things, I think, for me, was working on these sets that kind of are part of our history. And there was I working on Rivendell with some incredible actors. And the way the elves move is very different than the way the dwarves move, obviously. It was really fun to get into that character and really move in a way that is not human. No, if anyone's home, but we'll soon see. I found Bayon's house absolutely mesmerizing. It's one of my favorite parts of the book, and the creation, of the carving that they did inside that, that beautiful barn, and everything was so oversized. I want to write the theme tune, sing the theme tune. <laughs> we built it to the... He's a rock star. One of the memories that really sticks in my head the most is walking in through the gates of Stone Street at 4.45 in the morning when it's dark and there's no one else here and the stars are still out. And then slowly the studio comes to life and the sun comes up. I saw a lot of those days. Just the sheer amount of lead characters with costumes. For some reason, they all want to wear costumes. They all want pants. They all want shoes made for an enormous amount of costumes. camaraderie of the folks that we've built up and the cast and crew you know we've spent an awful long time together there's like sort of 12 or 13 of us who have been in a mini army <laughs> well, I mean, they're all people I would love to work with again fantastic cast <laughs> I'm surrounded by these mates I'm surrounded by my comp you're um, able to freely abuse them on a daily basis and they don't seem to mind and that's the post <laughs> <laughs> but a very high quality of human beings involved. Pretty soon we won't be all together as a gang, which is going to be sad. We'll all miss each other terribly. <laughs> Lord figure in the books. How do you update this character for modern audiences? Um, I, you see, I never really thought of updating it. I actually did the opposite. I, I thought of it as uh, more kind of Greek tragedy. Kind of, I looked at Shakespeare. You know, for a lot of my preparation, I was looking at uh, Henry V and bits of Richard III, just just to find roots in, in British literature that were that were kind of deeper. Um, but I think that. Uh, keeping it, feel, making it feel contemporary. They're, they're the, the big themes of the of the story, you know, loyalty and honor and trust and camaraderie. I think those themes are are contemporary. Um, there's been. <laughs> 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 <laughs>